All right, let's break this down. Einstein's theory of relativity. You've probably heard some version of it, like astronauts coming back younger than their Earth-bound twin. But why exactly does time slow down near the speed of light? It's not just a sci-fi trope. It's rooted in the fabric of reality itself. Here's the key idea. Space and time aren't separate. They're intertwined into what we call space-time. As you move through space, let's say, in a rocket trying to hit 99% of the speed of light, your movement affects your flow through time. Think of it like a seesaw. The faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. This phenomenon is called time dilation. Einstein describes space-time using a four-dimensional grid, known as Minkowski space-time. If you're not accelerating, you can move around this grid as you please, but hit significant speeds, close to the speed of light, and the very fabric of this grid tilts. That tilt reorders how space and time behave relative to an observer. Here's a wild example. Using precise clocks, scientists have placed one clock on a jet and one on the ground. Guess what? The airborne clock ticks just a tiny bit slower. Now imagine scaling that to nearly light speed. Mathematically, it all comes back to Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. It turns out that energy, the effort to move faster, is deeply connected to time. The gear shift from slow to fast motion warps space-time itself. In essence, time dilation is like nature's own speed regulator, because as you approach light speed, your time freezes relative to someone watching you. You might feel normal on your rocket, but back home, decades could be passing by. Now here's the mind-blowing part. We've actually proven this with particles. Subatomic particles called muons decay slower when they're moving close to light speed in particle accelerators here on Earth. From their point of view, it's just regular time passing. But to us, their existence stretches out. Time dilation isn't just theory. It's tested, retested, and embedded in technologies like GPS. Without relativity corrections, GPS devices would give completely wrong results. So the next time a sci-fi movie mentions time slowing near light speed, remember, it's not magic, it's physics. If you're hungry for more short or in-depth dives into advanced physics, tech, and philosophy, subscribe to Hyperfocus. I'll see you there.